Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a flat camera icon in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I've already opened Illustrator, and now I'm going to create a new document. So I'll come over here to Create New. I'll choose Print up here at the top, and then I'll come over to Letter, and then finally, on the bottom right, I'll Create. Okay. So I'm going to create a little camera icon and we'll make one of those flat shadows that are really popular right now. Okay, so let's hit M on our keyboard to get your rectangle tool. And I'm going to just click and drag to make the body of the camera. Now I want this to be kind of a darker gray. So I'm gonna double click on my white square down here and I'll just choose something a little pretty dark. Okay, we'll say okay. Okay, now I'm going to click that shape and copy and paste in front with Command F or Control F on a PC. So right now we have two shapes that are exactly on top of each other. And I've got the top one selected and there's another one behind there that you can't see. So I'm just going to click on this handle down here at the bottom and drag it up about two thirds of the way up. And I'll double click on this fill color and I'm gonna make this a little bit, maybe not quite that much brighter, but this is a good color here. Let's choose that one. Okay, so I've got my gray rectangle and another darker gray rectangle underneath it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, and I noticed that we have some black outlines on these two shapes and I don't really want any outlines. So I'm going to select both of these with my selection tool and then I'll hit X to get my stroke color to the front. X toggles between the fill and stroke. So now that my stroke color is in front, that's the one I'm working on and I can just hit the backslash or question mark key on my keyboard. Okay, now let's do the lens. So I'll hit L to get my circle or ellipse tool. And I'm going to click right about here and just hold shift and option or alt on a PC. And I want to go over the edges just a little bit, but I don't want it that far over. So I'm going to get back on my selection tool and just hold shift and move it over just a little bit, not centered, but a little further over. Okay, and now that I think about it, it's probably a better idea to make this a little differently. So I'm going to move this in a little bit. I'll hold shift and option and drag it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to make this white. So I'll hit X on my keyboard to get my fill in front. And then I'll choose white over here in my color palette. Now, if there are any palettes or windows that you see here that you want to have open, but you don't, you can just go to window and find them here. Okay, so I have a white fill on this, and now I want to get my appearance palette up. So you can go in window and find that if you don't have it. Right now I have a fill, and I don't have a stroke. So I wanna add a stroke to this. So I'm gonna click here, and I'll choose, let's make this black. And I'll increase that stroke a little bit. Okay. So I have a stroke that is on top of the fill. A little bit of the stroke is on the fill and the other half of the stroke is over nothing. Um, okay, so I wanna take this stroke and copy it below the fill. So I'm gonna hold Option and I'll click in this blank area and just drag it below. You can see it turn into a little hand with a plus and that means you're copying it. So now we have two strokes right on top of each other with a fill sandwiched in between them. So I'm going to click on that stroke and I'm going to increase it to about 15. And now I want to change the color here. I want this to be kind of a, maybe a lighter gray. So I'm going to double click on my stroke. We'll choose this lighter gray here. Okay. And now I want to add another stroke to the same path out here on the edge. So what I'll do is I will copy this stroke, hold option and click and drag here. I'll make this one black 
And because this small stroke is three pixels, we also want the stroke that's out there to be three pixels. So let's make this 18 because 18 minus 15 is three. Okay, but that looks quite a bit smaller. And the reason for that is because half of this is being hidden. So we're only seeing 1.5. So we need another three pixels to make this look as big as this one. So let's make this 21. Okay, and now they match. Okay, so we've got our lens of our camera. So now let's switch over to making some of the buttons. Okay, we need a kind of flash area. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to get back to my rectangle tool. And I'll click and drag a little flash area. Okay, now when you do this, it's going to take your last fill in stroke. If you remember our 21 point stroke, that's where that's coming from. So what we can do is just come up here on our appearance palette and clear appearance. And that'll give us no fill in stroke, which is fine because I want to use my eyedropper tool to get this color. So I'll hit I on my keyboard and then choose this darker color. And I'll get my selection tool and just move this over a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now I want this to be behind the lens. So I'm going to go to object, arrange and send it back. Okay. And now I'm going to draw a couple little rectangles here. That's M on your keyboard to get to your rectangle tool. And I'll also draw one over here for a little shutter button. And then I'm also going to draw another little rectangle right here. And I'm going to make this one white. So I'll hit X to get my fill in front and I'll choose white over here in my color palette. And then I want a little circle over here. So I'll hit L on my keyboard to get to my ellipse tool and I'll click and drag and hold shift to get a perfect circle. Okay. So our camera is almost done. Let's start making things rounded. I like a little rounded corner when I'm working with flat icons. So to do this, I'm going to use my a tool and select the pieces that I want to round. I would like to round these corners. There are actually two corners. One is this rectangle and one is this rectangle. And I also want to rect round these. And I also want to round these, these and these. I'm still on my direct selection tool. And now you can see these little dots, the little white dots here, click and drag that. And you can see, Oh, I guess I didn't get this one, but we can see our corner, the amount that we got. I'm going to copy that. I'll hit a to get back on my selection tool. I'll highlight that corner that we missed and come up here to corners and paste it in. And now it'll match the other four corners. Oops, this one needs to be moved over now. Now I'll select the top corners of these, not the bottoms, because if they curve, you're going to see that edge and we don't want that. So let's just select the top corners with our a tool. I'm holding shift to select more than one thing. Then we'll pull those corners down a little bit. Okay. Now I also want to round this one and I want to round all four corners of it so I can just select it with my direct selection and then hit a and we get our corner widget to round them. Okay. I'll center that up a little bit. Now I want this to kind of curve in this way like this. So the first thing I want to do is get my a tool, the direct selection tool, highlight this corner and this corner, and then hit S on my keyboard. S will bring me to the scale tool. And then I could just hit enter or return. And I'm going to make those 80% smaller. So let's hit the preview button and you can see what's happened. It's made them just a little bit smaller than their other two points. Okay. Let's say, okay. And now we can actually round those two points by hitting a on our keyboard and grabbing those white areas and just pulling them in a little bit. Okay. Our camera is almost done. I think the only thing left that we need is uh, a highlight on our lens. So let's hit command Y or control Y on a PC 
Um, it's kind of hard to see where this circle is. You go, we have all these different circles, but if we hit Command Y or Control Y, we can see it. So let's select that with our selection tool. I'm going to copy it and then paste in front with Command F. Now I'll hit Command Y or Control Y again. So now we have two copies with all this stuff on both copies. I don't really want all these things on the front copy, so I'm going to come up here to the flyout and clear appearance. And then I'm going to hit Shift and Option, Shift and Alt on a PC, and pull this in a little bit. And now I want kind of a green color, I think, but I only want a stroke, not a fill. So I'm gonna hit Shift X to switch these. It's the same as hitting the arrows here. Okay. And now I'm going to come over in my appearance and increase my stroke. Maybe to about five. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now I only want the shadow, I mean the highlight up here and down here. So with my a tool, my direct selection tool, I'll click right on that line. I'll hold shift and I will click this one. So we actually have this part and this part selected but not this part or this part of the line. And now I'm going to command X that that's cutting. Uh, that's control X on a PC. And these are actually fine. It's going to be the same thing, just rotated, but I don't want those. So I'm going to delete them. And now I'll paste in front with command F or control F on a PC. And the last step on the lens highlight is to just round those corners. So let's get our stroke panel up. And I'll just choose cap and choose the middle one and also corner and choose the middle one. Okay. Our camera is complete. So now I want to show you how to make the background circle and the flat shadow. So let's hit L on our keyboard to get to our ellipse tool. I'm going to start right about where I think the middle of the camera is hold shift and option or shift and alt on a PC and make it pretty big like this. I'm just going to kind of visually center this up and I'll hit shift X to make a solid circle. Now I want this to go all the way to the back so we can come up here to object and arrange and send it back, or we can hit shift command left bracket that shift control left bracket on a PC. Okay. Let's hit X to get our fill in front over here. And then we'll come up and we'll grab a yellow color. I'm going to go with kind of a more of an orangey yellow. Okay. That looks pretty good. And now for the shadow, I'm going to use my selection tool to select all of this and then hold shift and click the yellow so that I only basically it deselects the yellow part. Um, and now I only have my camera selected. So I'm going to group this with command G or control G on a PC. So now when I move it, it moves the whole camera. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make a copy of this to use for the shadow. So I'm going to do copy paste behind, and then I'm going to just move this out so you can see what I'm doing. And to do that, I'll hit V which it gives me my selection tool and then hit return or enter. And now we can move this however we want. So I'm going to send it a thousand pixels to the right, thousand points to the right and zero vertically. And I'll hit return. And now when we come over here, you can see that this is a thousand away from this one. Okay. So since we're going to use this as our shadow, we need it to be all one shape. And to do that, I'm going to have to expand it. So we'll come up here to object, expand appearance, and then we'll go to object expand. We want to expand both the fill and the stroke and we'll say, okay. Okay. So let's zoom in here with our Z tool and take a look at this. It looks like we have all of our paths expanded all the way out to the edges, which is what we want. So now we can come over here to our pathfinder and just choose the shape mode unite. Now we have all one piece. Okay. So that is the first part of our shadow. 
but we need another part to kind of make the long area. So I'm going to click this, copy and paste in front, that's Command F or Control F on a PC, and then click and drag holding Shift and Option. Shift will keep it at a 45 degree angle. See how it wants to snap? So we want the 45 degree angle. And then I'll release. The way we're going to make the shadow is with blend. So let's select both of them and come up here to Object, Blend, and Blend Options. Now, the easiest way to do this is with Smooth Color, but sometimes it doesn't work for me. So I just want to go ahead and skip that step. We're going to go ahead and do Specified Steps. And I'll choose 75 and we'll say OK. Now that doesn't do anything, it just tells Illustrator what you want the blend tool to do when you do make a blend. So now we'll come up here to Object, Blend, and Make. And this is what actually makes that blend. Okay, so they are blended together. Now let's put these back over 1000 pixels. So I'll hit V on my keyboard and then enter or return. I will send them negative 1000 horizontal and zero vertically. And now it's exactly behind the camera like it was. Now we don't actually want our shadow to be green. So I'm going to hit A on my keyboard. I'm going to select the first camera and make it black. So now our blend is going from green to black. It's kind of weird. I am going to click on this camera and just hide it with command three. And now I'll, that's control three on a PC. Now I'll hit A and select our other camera, and I'm going to choose black for that too. Now our shadow is looking more like a shadow. I'm going to select the whole thing with my selection tool, and I'm going to put it at 30%. We'll also come up here to the opacity and choose multiply for our blending mode. And this kind of takes the color, this is going to look more yellow than gray because of that. So if I undo, you can kind of see what's happening. It's getting more of that yellow inside there, which is a very nice effect. Okay, now our regular camera is still hidden. It's still there, but it's hiding. So I'm gonna leave it that way for now while we make this shadow. So to get our clipping mask, we wanna copy the yellow part. So I'm gonna copy that. Then I'm gonna click off, and I'm gonna paste in front with Command F. That's Control F on a PC. Now I'll select that and this and hit Command 7. That's Control 7 on a PC. So these are actually two separate things. We've got our shadow that's been masked into a circle, and then we have the circle behind it. And now we can unhide our camera. So let's go to Object, Show All. The camera is looking kind of muddy, and that's because it's actually behind the shadow. So we need to bring it to the front. Let's hit Shift, Command, Right Bracket or shift control right bracket on a PC. And now our flat camera icon with shadow is complete. Okay, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.